By request, we are revisiting one of the darkest corners of YouTube. That's right, I'm talking about this Jurassic guy. Oh my god, every one of his videos are fucking ridiculous. I managed to find one here where he's claiming the earth is flat. I know, right? What a surprise. Someone who has so much hate towards Jewish people is obviously also a flat earther. However, he's not actually part of the flat earth community, but rather says what he says because he thinks that the Jews are lying to us about the round earth. Nonetheless, I bet there will still be flat earthers in the comment section defending him, and the thought of that just sickens me. You know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about the Coriolis effect. Huh, what's the Coriolis effect? Honestly, what is it? Oh, you meant the Coriolis effect. Gotcha. And don't worry, folks. Uh, if you don't know what Coriolis effect is, don't worry. You don't have to know because I don't get scientific in these stupid uh, videos, okay? You're going to make a video on the Coriolis effect and not explain what it is? I'm like 90% certain that you yourself don't even know what it is. Heck, I'd be surprised if you've had any sort of education. And yeah, unlike the people watching my channel, your subscribers are probably just as dumb as you are. So let me just briefly explain what this is. Basically, when an object is traveling in a rotating medium, the inertia of the object pushes it to curve in a vector depending on the direction and rotation. Here's a visual that I pulled off the internet. As can be seen, when an object moves from the center towards the outer rim of the counterclockwise rotating platform, the object appears to move towards the left according to the receiver's point of view. That's because the object traveling in the medium is to a certain degree independent and not 100% conformed to the medium it is traveling in, which causes it to curve in our point of view in the plane. This effect happens all the time on the Earth, and we've even measured it to quite some accuracy. Now that that's out of the way, let's hear what you have to say about the Coriolis effect. They tell us the Coriolis effect, like, it affects because the, the ball, or, you know, the way it spins, that it causes a certain effect on certain things, like, like water, okay? Supposedly in Australia, Compared to America, in Australia, the water spins the opposite way when it goes down a drain, okay? The Coriolis effect is very real. It affects a lot of things, and it would determine which way the toilet water spins if there weren't so many other factors involved. For example, the direction in which the water enters the bowl would be the main crucial factor that determines the flush direction. However, if everything is controlled for, then the drain would be opposite for different hemispheres. Cyclones spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern. The Coriolis effect would be more effective for larger bodies of air or water. I do agree that this effect would not be significant for toilet water but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Now let's forget about the toilet because see the toilet they can make it spin whichever they w way they want because when you first flush the toilet if they want to make it you know shoot out a certain way it can go down the drain the same way. Okay so we can agree on one thing the direction of the toilet spin is most influenced by the direction in which the water shoots out but you're gonna make some wild implications from this aren't you? Okay, so let's just say that in Australia it does spin a different way, but it doesn't mean it's because of a ball earth, folks. It could be on a flat land and half the land is on this side is different because of, of some magnetic shift. A magnetic shift. Ah, fucking classic. I don't know what to say here except that you're wrong. But feel free to give a laid out scientific explanation on how, one, the magnetic shift is happening, and two, how that would cause the water to spin differently in the hemispheres. And actually answer these questions. Don't just leave a stupid comment like you did last time. All I'm saying is, let's see how they program our mind to make us believe that something different is happening down there, okay? Well, if anything, it would just be a lie. Don't exaggerate it by saying programming our minds. What the fuck? Plus, not everyone knows about the Coriolis effect. We have plenty of other proofs of a spherical Earth. If your motive is to claim that the Earth is flat, then you have mountains of other things to get through first, not just the Coriolis effect. I'm gonna give you an example. Like with, with, the, with American cars, our steering wheels are on the left-hand side. But in, in Australia, it's on the right-hand side. You get what I'm saying? What does that have to do with the Coriolis effect? What kind of mind control plot is this? Oh my god, the steering wheel's on the other side of the car! I'm so brainwashed now! I think the Earth is round and our government isn't controlled by space lizards! Ah! I don't know who was the first to invent the cars, but it doesn't matter. Why are they not the same? Okay? Again, it's a way to make you believe that something different is going on. Nope, but this is an interesting phenomenon. It's either drive on the left, sit on right, or drive on the right, sit on left. This is so that the driver is closer to the center of the road for safety purposes. There are currently about 160 countries that have their drivers on the left, while about 70 countries have them on the right. It's not just Australia, you know. Many countries that have their drivers on the right side were formerly colonized by the British, such as the Caribbean, Nepal, South Africa, you know, basically like half the fucking earth. And it is through this influence that made them right-handed drivers. There's no particular advantage to having one side over the other. But there is an interesting history to all this that traces all the way back to ancient rulers like Napoleon. But that's a story I won't get into. 
And I'll give you another example. Even when they drive down the street, they drive differently, okay? It's, it, it, you have to watch it to see it. I don't have any videos on it, but you understand what I'm saying? Even when you're, if they're going this way, the cars, our cars will be going that way on the same side of the street. You get what I'm saying? Yep, so they drive on the opposite side of the road, sure. But again, the driver will almost always be positioned to the side closer to the center of the road, with the exception of a few special cars. What does this prove again? Anyway, so here's another example. Let's go with horse racing, okay? In America, the horses go like this. Look, this is the way we run, counterclockwise in, in America. But in Australia, they run the opposite way. You've got to be kidding me. I don't even know what you're saying at this point. Now you're telling me that, again, why would they do that? You, we, can, we can run any which way. Coriolis effect is not going to affect us in which way we run. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but no one is claiming that the Coriolis force affects the way we run. Who's claiming that? Please show me one person who's claiming that. Please, I'll wait. Again, it's a, it's a programming thing. It's just unbelievable the shit that they would do. You get what I'm saying, folks? It's just ridiculous, man. Think about what I just showed you. Again, like I told you, folks. It's the Jews trying to mess with our mind. Because the Jews are the spawns of Satan. So basically, Jesus was the spawn of Satan. Got it. This guy, Jurassic Liars, has an entire channel where he posts anti-Semitic content. And I'm not talking about some PewDiePie shit. I'm talking about actual conspiracy theories against Jewish people. And he's very aggressive about it too. What pisses me off even more is how his subscriber base shares the same views. Just scroll through his comment section and you'll see tons of support. What the fuck? Basically, this is where all the fucktars live. Fuck you, Jurassic Liars. You're a cunt. Okay, as I was recording this video, I found out that his channel was terminated. Wow, what are the chances of that, having his channel terminated by YouTube right when I was making this video? Well, I'm recording this right now on Saturday, June 24th. By the time you guys see this, it'll probably be July 1st. So June 24th was when his channel closed. Whether or not I agree with this action, it sure took YouTube a while to find his channel. Either way, Jurassic isn't done yet since he created a second channel right before this termination process. <laughs> Jurassic. I'll see you in my comment section down below. I know you're watching this video.